Hey everyone, it's Mari. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I have a 12 by 12 scrapbooking layout here for the Just Nick Digital Cut File Design Team. And I'm going to be using a little bit of mixed media on some paper here before I show you the cut file that I'm going to be uh, creating with today. So I've just taken a piece of basil marshmallow cardstock and I've treated it with some Vicky Booten gesso. And now I've just taken one of Vicky's art crayons and I'm just going to scribble that down onto that plastic that comes with the crayons. And I'm going to activate that with some water and my paintbrush there. I'm going to pick the color up with my brayer and I'm going to create some color on my background in that way. You could use um, all sorts of different inks and um, different types of mediums here to create this effect. Uh, I just happen to really love the color of this one crayon and it worked really, really well with the Auburn Lane collection. So I wanted to create kind of like this rusty pinky tone in the background that is part of that color uh, theme in that Auburn Lane collection. And so this crayon matched perfectly, so worked out. Now you'll just see that I just keep adding more water to that crayon and as my uh, paintbrush becomes more and more saturated with water and the pigment from the, the crayon, it gets darker there on that little piece of plastic. I'm just gonna take some of the leftover pigment that's in the, um, the paintbrush and I'm going to splatter it on just by watering it down a little bit more. I don't want the splatters to be that saturated in color so I'm going to just pick up a little bit of the excess there and that's it. I've let that dry and now I have a custom created background that matches the color palette. Now here's that gorgeous cut file I'm going to be creating with this week and it's the My Heart is Full cut file and we're working with words and phrases this week over at the uh, Just Nick shop and blog. Um, I'm going to be using one of these two photographs here. I just am showing you here that the one on the left I I printed it. It actually has a desaturated filter on it from Lightroom and the one on the right was obviously much more saturated and pigmented. Um, I really really like the one on, well I love them both, but I wanted to create with the desaturated one just because um, I thought that the tones of the photograph just kind of are going to work a little bit better with what I wanted to do with this layout. So I thought I might use the saturated one. I thought I might use the desaturated one. I kind of kept flipping back and forth, but I will use that saturated one, the one with the regular color. I just printed it. I didn't put a filter on that one. Um, I'll use that for another project. So I printed that in four by three in portrait. And now you can see that I'm going to back that cut file with some wood grain uh, pattern paper from the Auburn Lane collection as well. So I've just uh, traced around those and backed my cut file with those that wood grain pattern paper. And now what I did was I just fussy cut some floral pieces from the Auburn Lane collection and I've just layered them with a piece of vellum and a piece of gold glitter paper. And I've just offset the flowers from those different papers and backed them in that way, just to give them a little more dimension and interest. And uh, it did take me a little bit of time to fussy cut around those with the vellum and the gold glitter paper, but it's worth it because they look really neat. Now I wanted to kind of create three areas with these florals. I'm gonna use just one in that bottom area there for now and then I'll put another one at the top and then one to the left of the photograph. So I'm just gonna put that picture back on there for a minute and just kind of try that and see where else I want these floral pieces to go. And I'm gonna first of all stick those layers together on those florals and then just kind of place them. You can see that I framed the layout in as well. I sized the white cardstock down a little bit and I backed it with a piece of gold glitter paper and then the wood grain paper as the final uh, frame for the layout there just so that you can see it brings the gold and that wood grain into the frame around the entire layout because you can see that the photograph has that wood, the wooden door from the church in the background. And um, it, I just wanted to bring that wood grain tone into a few other places in the layout. So thus the, the backing of the cut file with that wood grain paper and then the one frame is in the wood grain as well. And you can see that how I've created just those three little clusters. Now something wonky happened with the E in the heart of the cut file. When I went to 
stick the backing on it. I must have stuck it on there crooked. So that's why I, <laughs> I ended up adhering that one little white flower to the top of the E in heart. And I actually like how that looks anyways. I think it looks kind of cool. Um, but that was uh, sort of like the method behind my madness for that to begin with. Um, so I'm really liking how this is looking so far. I like those three little areas. I thought I might add a few more little floral pieces here and there, and I'm going to try a few of them out, but I end up just going with what I have here. And then I popped a couple of the other little white flowers up on some dimensional adhesive in a couple of places, but, um, it basically stays like this and I like it. I think it's, it's simple and elegant. I don't think that the photo needed a ton of stuff going on just because that, you know, the photo itself is just so beautiful. Um, this photo was taken in front of a church on Spadina Crescent in Saskatoon. It's the St. James church. It's an Anglican church. The kids did not get married in that church, but, um, lots of people have their photographs taken, um, kind of in that area just because it's such a beautiful backdrop and it's it's just gorgeous it's stunning so um they had quite a few photographs taken down on spadina in uh, the miwasan valley park and it was so pretty down there that day there was just sort of like a really nice amount of cloud and i have not seen all of the photographs but the ones that i have seen taken down by the river are really super spectacular and i really love this one i think it's really pretty They they've just got quite a serious sort of look on their faces or um just sort of like um you know very pensive moment where their heads are together and it's just sweet i really liked it so um i didn't want to put too much splash <laughs> going on here but just enough to really frame in this lovely photograph here. So that's what I was thinking when I created this. Now I have created a few layouts here with the Auburn Lane collection so far for these wedding photos. And um, I don't know how many more I'll do with this collection. I, I'm kind of thinking about doing a black and white because if you've seen that collection, you know that there's a bunch of black and whites. There's a bunch of black and white paper and there's some black and white florals and some florals with some vellum um, that are just black uh, with black ink. And I've been thinking about doing kind of a monochromatic black and white, and I haven't really sort of found my muse for that yet, but I've been thinking about it and trying to decide how I want to design a layout with that. So that's to come. You can stay tuned for that. And this layout is just about done. I'm just kind of looking for, you know, I was thinking about maybe adding some of those rub-ons, but I decided against that. Sorry about my head getting in the way here. I moved my camera up a little bit. So <laughs> yes, you can see my crazy white hair there. Um, I just wanted to finish up here with the, some of the little gold alphas from the collection. I'm just going to put the date of their wedding. So it's going to say 7, 14, 18 there. And I just took the letter X just to create some little dashes there. Um, that's it guys. Make sure you check out the just Nick words and phrase cut files over in the shop. I am going to leave a link in the description box below. I'm just showing you there where I'm planning to do some journaling still for this layout. And I will do that once I've taken all the photographs and stuff of the layout. Thanks so much for stopping by guys. Have an amazing day and I'll see you another time. Bye-bye.